Welcome back. 838. A new study shows college may be an increasingly anxious time for young adults. UT Arlington Dean of Students Heather Snow joins us to talk about solutions for the troubles that a lot of students are facing. The numbers of students, college students dealing with anxiety, dealing with depression, I mean, the numbers are, are, are just staggering. In fact, um, the numbers come from the American College Health Association, and, and they show undergrads reporting overwhelming anxiety, increasing from 50% in 2011 to 62% in 2016. Anxiety, the most common reason. And, and what do you think it is? What, what is causing this increase in in, in this age group? Yeah, I'm not sure we can really say it's any one thing. Mm -hmm. um, a combination of factors. Um, I think overwhelmingly we have a larger number of students coming to us on college campuses okay. with pre-diagnosed anxiety, depression, already on medications. So my conversation with parents used to be that, you know, this is the prime age for diagnosis. It's not anymore. Students really? are coming to us being having been diagnosed in elementary school. So they're school, aware, Parent, more, more, more people are aware that there are issues. Right, so okay. that they already have issues. Then I think certainly um, the stress in society as a whole right now. Right. Um, I think we all feel it. I think our college students who maybe don't have the capacity to understand and cope with that stress to the same degree as adults do, right. um, feel it in a different way. Yeah, I, I compare it like keeping up with the Joneses, I guess is how right. it used to be. You know, yes. now it's almost like yeah, the kids are on social media. I, I talk with a psychologist and, and that psychologist said that uh, yeah, kids are on social media so much these days. It used to be you'd go to school and you dealt with school and then you'd come home and you'd have home. But now it just carries over into everything. And they're seeing, you know, they're, they're looking at their friends on social media. They're looking at strangers maybe that they, that they just, you know, think highly of. And they're seeing these perfect worlds, and that's really hard to know when to shut off that that you know th that side of things. Right. And they don't shut off. They so don't. they are catching the snapshot of their friend, mm -hmm. um, the perfect moment from their day, and they're thinking, "This is what everybody else is has going for them, right. and my life is horrible." Um, and they're not able to turn off that mechanism. They're on their phones all day, every day, mm -hmm. um, and they live, they work, they go to school at the institution, right. um, so they can never step away. It's not like we as adults who step away from work and go yeah. home and we silo our lives. As yeah. college students, they don't have that capability. Exactly. I remember just being anxious in college, just trying to decide what I wanted to be when I grew up. I mean, I started out a marine biologist. This mm -hmm. obviously didn't work out that way. But I think a lot of kids, you know, that's something else too. They feel like they need to know what they want to do at right. that age group, mm -hmm. I think. All the answers. They yeah. think that they're expected to have all the answers. That's hard. Um, and so many of them, you know, they're paying their own way through college because financial mm -hmm. aid is very different these days right. um, in terms of the amount of aid available. Um, they're working, many of them raising families through college, um, yeah. so they're really uh, under a lot of pressure. What's a parent supposed to do? You're already nervous because you're sending your kid away or, you're, you know, this is a new step for them. What, what should parents do? What should you be looking for? Yeah, so things to look for, um, look for a change in behavior, mm -hmm. um, look for a change in connection with you. Um, most of our students are calling mom and dad every day. Mm -hmm. um, so if that suddenly stops, if it shifts, um, if when they come home over a college break, um, they have a different personality than what you sent them to college with. Um, know that you have partners on the college campuses. So the dean of students mm -hmm. at every college campus is there to partner with the parents. We're there to help students. Um, so to to be there to answer questions about their student, um, to help their student connect to resources. Look for help. It's out there. Absolutely. You just have to find it. All right, we'll put a link for uh, more on this in-depth report. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll put it on our website, fox4news.com.